In recent years, we've seen a trend that towards Christmas, children now want expensive presents like tablets and phones instead of just toys. Your product's £129. Are you contributing to that? Well, I, I think the, thing, the way to think about our product is not necessarily as a toy, but it's a piece of technology in itself. We're a tech company, and so we're used to iteration. So the thing to remember is that uh, the version of software that comes with it when it comes out is going to change over time. We don't think of it as like a disposable toy that you would buy and you know around Christmas time and then throw out. We think of it as like an investment in a piece of hardware that just keeps getting better and better and better and better. A lot of the old Star Wars toys were very collectible. People keep them in boxes and don't even open them. What are you going to do to make sure that this is equally collectible? Well, you know, I, I think for us it will mark something special in the world of Star Wars. This is the closest you've been able to come to buying an actual droid. I mean, it's a computer. I mean, it's running an operating system. You can connect to it. Um, you know, it, 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 it's the closest thing that's out there. Do you think there are other uses for the underlying technology in this? Will we see virtual assistants like, a, like on a phone wandering around a houses? Absolutely. We're entering an age of robotic companions. There's a big difference between something like this and, and a piece of software that you talk to, right? It has physical presence, it's got physical characteristics. Um, when it looks at you, you feel like it's looking at you. What we think is going to happen is that we're going to enter an age of the robotic companion. And this is the beginning of that kind of human-robot relationship. The kids that have a BB-8 today will be very comfortable in five, ten years having an actual robotic friend that they spend time with. A lot of people will be looking at this ball with its head balancing on top and asking, how does that work? Yeah. We like to say it's the force. Um, it's a very complicated piece of technology that we've sorted out, um, but we think it really adds to the magic of BB-8.